So, I haven't got to talk a whole heck of a ton about Super Mario Bros. Wonder yet. Um, you're gonna kind of see light flashing maybe a little bit when watching this, unless it's just the trailer on the screen at points. I don't know. Um, but uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, it's very interesting to me um, how innovative they're getting, um, Nintendo. And I heard some people who, you know, weren't ever super huge on the 2D Mario type games and how they were always just kind of the same thing in a way, you know? They never really, like, changed things up and were, like, super innovative about it. Sure, they added four-player instead of two-player. Sure, they added some extra little things here or there or new items or something. But we never got, like, some weird kind of, like, you new, unique, innovative ideas in a 2D Mario game like this. Um... It seems like there's just so many wacky type new power-ups in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And the thing is, is not only like Mario getting tall, not only Mario turning into like a spiky ball thing and turning into a freaking elephant of all things. Um, I find it really cool just this idea of could we turn into other type of um, animals? Could we end up getting more abilities outside of animals also i want to say the characters their facial expressions and stuff are really really top notch in this trailer like if you look at the way that the characters facial expressions are it's it's really it's really impressive um compared to the previous 2d mario games like they're really giving them more personality than really that they have before and i think that's really really cool um, I'm also looking forward to hearing how the entire soundtrack sounds because in the trailer it sounded really cool the music that we had gotten um, I hope this has online play because I really believe that this deserves to have some form of online play not just um, offline play because I don't think that them doing just co-op offline would be fair I don't know um, but I like the wackiness to it, the like wonder, just like the title, the wonder of what type of new power-ups are they adding? What kind of new unique styles are they adding? I love, what I love about Nintendo these days is they try to innovate and change things and add new ideas to their games. And with Super Mario Bros. Wonder, or I should say Mario in general, since the Switch started, it didn't launch with Mario Odyssey, but the year the Switch came out, we got Super Mario Bros. Odyssey. Or Super Mario Odyssey, my bad. Uh, not Bros. Um, but we got that, and we had Cappy. And it really kind of gave us a new sense of an idea of something new and different with Mario. Him having a hat that could do things, a hat that was alive, that could talk, that you could jump on, that you could throw to turn into other enemies... To literally throw that hat and turn into one of those enemies or turn into a bullet bill or something else or go through electrical wires like so many things were so cool about Mario Odyssey and then we had Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury 3D World you know it's just a port of that 3D Mario Bros game um, but we had Bowser's Fury which was a really short game but it was really, really a ton of fun, and you could do co-op, and you could play as Bowser Jr. plus Mario. And what I really liked about that was the fact that you could, Mario could get huge, Mario could just grow, he could get really big and fight a gigantic Bowser. A Bowser that tries to destroy everything, and it's just really cool that Mario basically turned into a gigantic cat Super Saiyan to fight Bowser, and... It was just it was just a cool idea, even though it was a short game. And then you would use Bowser Jr. to uh, paint certain things for certain puzzles and certain things in the game. And I, I just thought that was really cool. So, back to Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I think that throughout the Switch's lifespan, not having many Mario games can be more of a good thing. Because they could take more time and get more creative with things and different ideas. Because I'm looking at Mario Bros. Wonder, and I'm thinking... Okay, so this isn't all just going to be the regular power-ups, you know? Because you see Mario get tall, you see him turn into a spiky ball, you see them, you see him and Peach using the hats to, like, float, which I find really cool. You see things moving around all zigzaggity and stuff. 
you see um, there is the background backdrop as well, but that was in uh, the previous 2D Mario game, which was actually like a decade ago, by the way. And you see um, uh, different things with power-ups, and I find it just, I don't know, I, I just find it cool, you know? I find it cool that we're going to have possibly so many new power-ups for Mario. Does this the question does this answer our question of will we see more of these power-ups in the future you know outside of a 2d mario game is there a chance that in the next 3d mario game we could get some of these unique interesting power-ups that we're seeing in super mario bros wonder will we see elephant mario again will he turn into other animals in the game as well um will you be able to combine power-ups that would be interesting let's say you're an elephant and then you get a power-up star or a fireball you know wouldn't that be kind of cool if we could do that? He turns into an elephant, and then you find another power-up, such as a fireball or something, and then you could use that. And then maybe have an extra chance, or maybe it is just one hit before you get small and lose both power-ups. I don't know. Different ideas that I'm thinking of that might not be in the game, but I just really, really had to talk about Super Mario Bros. Wonder a little bit, because it makes me wonder, no pun intended, uh, how everything's how it's gonna play uh, not really how it's gonna play but like what's the story gonna be like is bowser truly the main villain that would be interesting if he wasn't uh he usually always is though um i don't think he ever really hasn't been uh there, there's been like side villains and stuff but uh i don't know like cappy you could like turn into a boo and stuff like so i, I don't know i don't know there's it's it's very di different. I, I like the art style too. The art style is very very like 3D but 2D. If you know what I'm saying, I don't know. Um, and, and the characters, the, the, I don't know. The style is really cool and how the piranhas walk and and these giant purple things. <laughs> I can't think of the word right now. Uh, the clouds are alive like. It's just, uh, like, there's roller skates. Like, there's there's Koopas on roller skates. I, and then there's a flower that talks to you. I don't I don't really know. Also, I don't know if... We don't know if Charles Martinet is Mario or not, but I don't think that really matters. Personally, I, I don't think that really matters all that much. Um, as long as the per new person were to be good for the part, you know? Like, the fact that you can't even really tell for sure if it's him or not goes to show that it's still very impressive, you know, but I, I, I'm getting vibes of different art styles in this from different Mario games throughout the years, and I think that's really cool, you know, I think that's really cool, and then there's like these hippos and stuff, I, I don't know, I think there's going to be a lot of different new, there might be a lot of different new types of enemies in here and stuff, either that or they're just going to give them different things like the roller skates, you know, um, <laughs> I don't I don't really know. I, I can't I can't figure this game out. I can't figure this game out. Um but Daisy's playable and you know that's good. Um I'm wondering if there's gonna be more than like four or five different characters to choose from in this game. Um But I think this is gonna be a lot of fun, especially um if you can play online with friends, which I really hope is the case because I'd be really disappointed if that were not the case. Uh, for this game. It it makes me you know it makes me kinda wanna even play some of the other 2d mario games again only because this game looks so interesting uh and not it's not to say that i don't love the other ones i grew up with playing super mario bros world super mario world on the game boy advance sp actually i played the heck out of that game even though it was originally from the super nintendo uh i always loved that game and um i just i am so excited and happy that we're getting a new 2d mario game that actually is unique and different you know it's not the same thing it's not just the same thing again it's giving us new stuff and i think that's great i think that's wonderful i there's like tubes moving around and stuff like i don't know i'm <laughs> there's there's a lot to break down here and i want to see more i just want a new trailer again <laughs> but i don't think we're going to we might not get more on this until september uh, which is a month before the game comes out, at our next Nintendo Direct, which is totally fine by me. I think it was a really great first trailer for the game, and yeah, I mean, it it looks great. It looks wonderful, and 
I love that what they're doing with Mario these days. I like I said, I really think that this is a game that just looks like a lot of fun. And it's nice to have that kind of fun. And if we can play this online, that's going to make it even better. If we can't, I'll be disappointed, but it's not like I'm not going to play it or anything. But imagine being able to play this awesome, fun 2D Mario game online with people. And it makes me think of like, uh, we have Mario Maker, right? Imagine if they did a Mario Maker 3 now. What would they add? Would they change the art style? Would they add this art style? I think they would add this art style. Would they add all of these new power-ups? I think they would. And combining all this new stuff with all the old stuff, I, I can picture them doing a Mario Maker 3. Probably not on the Switch generation, but I think they would do a Mario Maker 3 on the next generation possibly, only because we have this brand new art style with all these new power-ups and equipment and stuff in this one. And it makes me think, oh, well, we have a whole new situation going on here. So they could definitely do a Mario Maker 3 and add even more stuff. I also wonder if Amiibo are going to give us anything in this game. I wonder if it's going to be Amiibo compatible. And if that's going to give us like either power-ups or special items in the game or something. I don't know. I have no idea. And we don't even know if we're if there's going to be like stars or anything like that. Or how it's going to work outside of just getting to the pole, getting to the goal. You know, uh, what's, what's it going to take to 100%? I don't know. I think I'm just kind of talking about this game because I felt that I had to. I, I felt not that I had to, but that I really, really wanted to. Because Mario is awesome, right? And it's just one of those characters that when a new game gets announced, you're curious, especially with something like this, what's going on here? Wow, this is new. Wow, this looks so cool. You know, there's so many new ideas and things here in this trailer that make you be like, wow, Nintendo is really sticking to being innovative with brand new Mario games because we haven't gotten that many brand new Mario games on the Switch, if you think about it. Like we got Mario Odyssey, we got Mario Maker 2, we got uh, Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, which Bowser's Fury was the only new one. But we never got a new 2D Mario game until now, and it's been a decade. <laughs> Since the beginning of the Wii U era was the last time we got a true 2D brand new Super Mario Bros. game. So I think Nintendo really has been, might have been working on this for quite some time. In between Mario Odyssey and um, Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, I believe they've been working on this for quite some time. Um, really using their brains thinking of new different ideas and stuff i don't know guys um that's just my thoughts on super mario bros wonder it really makes you wonder no pun intended but it really does <laughs> um if you did enjoy this video you know be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already as i do all kinds of stuff related to gaming and uh video game stuff uh just i don't know i'm just an idiot who talks about video games <laughs> anyways guys thanks so much for watching this video talking about Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Later!